you're doing an oral only cycle, only taking Anovar. One moment. What's up guys, Fardini here from wolfzeek.com and today we are checking out a story, a DM I got from someone who only did Anovar. And for those who do not know, Anovar is an anabolic roid. And one other thing, I am not a doctor, so do not take my advice. I'm just a natural guy who coaches people who use shit sometimes. So, and I'm a freaking nerd in this shit and I just like this shit, all right? I actually never did something like this, like, um, reading up a DM, um, of course I will not show the name out of respect, but um, these are real life scenarios that, uh, yeah, maybe can help other people, all right? All right, here it is. Hey Wolf, had a question for you regarding my cycle, and I hope you can help me out. I have done my first cycle with Anavar only, and I saw some good results, which I'm happy with. At the moment, I am done with my cycle. Only downside is that I am suffering of erectile dysfunction after quitting my cycle. I do not really know how to resolve this issue. Maybe you have some advice for me regarding this issue. Any tips would really help me out. Really help me out. I am just worried that because I do not know what is happening here. All right, so um, big problem. I've talked about oral only cycles uh, before and why I truly do not believe in them and why you should really not do them. And this is, a real life scenario. I talked about it the last time as well, so check out this video. But today we're gonna, yeah, talk specifically about the Anavar Oxandrolone anabolic roid. So uh, I will explain what is happening here because this happens a lot. I'm just so surprised that people do not do a lot of research beforehand. And I'm not shitting on the guy. I, I mean, like, there's so much information out there. And if you just listen to another bodybuilder or someone else, uh, a gym rat from the gym, he said, Oh yeah, you can do an anaerobic only cycle. Uh, it's okay, you can do it, and uh, you'll be fine. You'll you'll make gains, <laughs> and some some shit like this happens, you know. And uh, it's uh, it's funny, all right. And please, guys, help me out. Subscribe to the channel, like it, and comment down below on the video with whatever you want. It does really matter. Uh, you comment with uh, gains. I don't care, but do it for the sake of the algorithm, all right. Help me boost up this channel, all right? But enough of that, let's get into it. So something that is known to happen when you do an oral only cycle, same with other things like Winstrol, I talked about it the last time, it lowers your SABG, so your sex hormone binding globulin. Oh, what is sex hormone binding globulin? Let me explain. Let me drink my tea because it's so cold in the Netherlands. I'm freezing my balls off, guys. So, sex hormone binding globulin is a protein made by your liver. So, it binds uh, to three sex hormones and is found both in men and women. So, these hormones are estrogen, dehydrotestosterone, also called DHT, and testosterone. So, sex hormone binding globulin carries these three hormones throughout your blood. So although sex hormone binding globulin binds three hormones, the hormone that is critical is testosterone. Sex hormone binding globulin controls the amount of testosterone that your body tissues can use. So too little testosterone in men and too much testosterone in women, it can cause problems. But the level of sex hormone binding globulin in your blood changes because of factors such as your sex, age, and can also change because of, uh, let's say you're really fat, you're obese, you have a liver disease or uh, hypothyroidism, so gland over here, that uh, produces uh, other hormones that regulate your metabolism. So generally speaking, when your SAPG levels are low, your body has more unbound sex hormones available for use. So. Generally speaking, when your SAPG levels are low because of your oral only cycle, which I never recommend, <clears throat> your body has more unbound sex hormones available for use. You just crash your sex hormone binding globulin because of your oral only cycle with Enovar especially. In medical practices, they use Enovar to lower your SAPG levels 
when your SAPG is sky high, which is also not good, all right? So you do not want it too high and you do not want it too low. So there is one study that literally looked at using Anavar and the effects on your body. There's a lot of text, I can read it up, but I will just go through it really quickly. So low sex hormone binding globulin and testosterone level levels in association with erectile dysfunction among human immunodeficiency immu immune various infected men receiving testosterone and exandrolone. A uh, study from 2008. So there were three patients. So all three received exandrolone, also called Anovar. Um, in addition to their testosterone replacement therapy. So what happened? Patients had erectile dysfunction in association with low testosterone and SABG in spite of their exogenous testosterone replacement. So they were already injecting testosterone, but it didn't help because their sex hormone binding globulin crashed. And what did they experience? erectile dysfunction and as they mentioned here and it decreases your synthesis of sex hormone binding globulin in the liver so allowing exact exact <laughs> can't find that. allowing supplied testosterone to be extruded so basically what happened because of the administration of exandrolone anovar their production of sex hormone binding globulin in the liver decreased which resulted in this supplied testosterone that they injected to be extruded. Uh, you can have testosterone flowing around in your body, but if your body can't use the testosterone and, and send it to the tissues that need it, like your dick, like your muscle, like whatever, you are suffering from erectile dysfunction. Anovar also suppresses your own natural testosterone production. The biggest drawback of an Anovar only cycle is that the fact that it will require you to do a PCT, a post cycle therapy, due to the fact that it suppresses your natural testosterone levels. So your testosterone levels will be lower while taking it as well, which can cause issues with your overall mood, energy, or your dick doesn't work. So this is something that you should definitely take into consider in consideration when you're doing a cycle like this, which I never recommend. All right, so you're doing an oral only cycle, only taking Anovar. One moment. <sighs> That's why I always say, when you're ever gonna do shit, you always need fodder testosterone in there. I do not want to make this video too long. I just wanted to make keep it really short for you guys. When you do things like this, an animal only cycle, you're decreasing your sex hormone binding globulin with what will result in erectile dysfunction, which you do just do not want, and other things that are associated with sex low sex hormone binding globulin levels. So next to lowering the sex hormone binding globulin because of the oral only cycle, we also suppress your own natural production, which will result in feeling like shit, losing your gains, low sex hormone binding globulin, erectile dysfunction, feeling like a bitch. So if you liked the video, like it, subscribe uh, for coaching, link down below, and uh, see you next time guys. Much love.